Hey guys, welcome to another project series. Now, for you guys that watch the Mean Stack front to back series, don't worry, I'm eventually going to get back to that. I know we still need to deploy it and we're going to do some other stuff as well, but I wanted to do another project in the meantime. So, we're going to get into working with Firebase, which is an absolutely awesome platform and application infrastructure to work with. It's a NoSQL database with authentication, file storage, testing, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, uh, what I want to do is create an Angular 2 application and use the Angular Fire 2 module to work with the Firebase API. Okay, so we're, what we'll be building is a property listings application where we can create property listings with a couple of fields. Uh, we'll be able to create, read, update, and delete these listings. And we're also going to use authentication through Firebase and we're going to use Google. Uh, with Firebase, you can use email and password, Google, Facebook, Twitter, and a bunch of other methods. Okay, so Google is, is one of the easier ones to implement. Um, so we're going to start with that, and then we might add more along the way. All right, now, I know some of you are probably hating that we're using Angular again in this series. I did have some people complain about the MeanStack series because they wanted me to use Vue.js, uh, but then it really wouldn't be the MeanStack. Um, but I, I do promise you that the next series will use something else on the client side. And then for you beginners that think this is a little too much for you, I do have a lower level courses planned as well. In fact, I, I did decide to break down my PHP crash course into uh, a long series so that we can do more than just one hour of content and we can really dive in and, and really look at the language. All right, so I do have a lot more in store. Uh, I do have a lot of requests to get to, so uh, just try and hang on and be a little patient and I will get to uh, the technologies that you're looking for. All right, so before we get started, I just want to mention that I did set up a Patreon account and you guys can now support the channel directly. Um, if you can do a dollar a month or anything like that, every little bit helps. I really love having the freedom to pick and choose the technologies that I teach and I really want to do this full time, but unfortunately YouTube doesn't pay enough unless you have millions upon millions of views. Um, so uh, you can also look into my Eduonix courses. Just make sure that if you do purchase a course that you use the affiliate link from the Traversy Media website. And of course you can, uh, you can do one-time donations through PayPal as well. All right, so let's take a look at some of the features and what's included in this series. So we're gonna get Angular 2 set up using Angular CLI. We'll use the CLI to generate components and services. Okay, so to interact with Firebase, we're gonna use be using the Angular Fire 2 module, which makes things a lot easier. This gives us the power to use Firebase, Angular, and Reactive Extension observables. Okay, so I'll show you how to get everything set up from within the Firebase console. We're gonna set up the database, the NoSQL database, uh, basically stores data in JSON format. We'll have one database collection for our listings and we'll be interacting with it through the Angular Fire module. All right, so Firebase also lets us implement different kinds of authentication. You don't have to use it. Your data is protected by default, uh, but if you wanted to, you could turn it off and you could have it so you don't have to do any kind of validation. Um, now you can use Google, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Uh, we're going to start off with Google and users will have to uh, they'll have to log in through their with their Google email or whatever uh, whatever you want to call it Gmail password uh, to be able to use the site and be able to view listings and also to be able to add listings alright and you'll actually be able to go into your Firebase console and look at all the users that have authenticated with your app okay another thing that we're going to be implementing is image upload okay all listings will get an image and we're going to upload these images to Firebase storage. You can actually store files in Firebase as well. Uh, this is something that you can't really find on YouTube and, and on the internet in general as far as tutorials. It took me quite a while to figure all this out. I actually had to spend hours reading the documentation. So I think you guys will enjoy that. So we're going to use the Angular Flash messaging module which we used in the MeanStack series as well as a form validation service okay so we use that as well um, in fact a lot of the stuff that you're gonna see is stuff that we did in the mean stack series because again we're working with angular 2 um, but this will give you some even more knowledge on on how to uh, set up an angular 2 application and how to work with other services 
like Firebase. All right, and then we're going to compile it and we're going to deploy it somewhere. I'm not really sure yet where, probably DigitalOcean or uh, Heroku or possibly AWS, but um, I don't know, we'll, we'll look at that when the time comes. All right, so now what I want to do is just jump in and take a look at the demo application and what I have set up so far. All right, guys, so this is what I have so far. This is um, our Angular 2 application, and I have it up on the dev server. Now, I'm trying to use, I, I use Bootswatch, which is a customized version of Bootstrap, and I actually tried to get it to look like the Firebase, uh, like the Firebase application. If you look at that, it's a pretty similar uh, color structure. Um, so basically, this is the home page, and it's just, there's not much here, just a, a sign in with Google button. You also have a login button up here. And if we go ahead and click that, you'll get your um, your Google account, username and password, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Okay, so we'll sign in, and I actually have a, a two-step verification. So just give me a second here. All right, you guys won't have that issue unless you set up two-step verification with Google. Okay, so now I'm logged in, and you can see that now we have a listings and an ad listing link up here. So if I click on listings, you'll see that we have a couple uh, mansions here that I have listed. And if we click on one of them, uh, we get the title, the city that it's in, the owner, the bedrooms, the, the type, whether it's an estate or a condo or an, or an apartment, the price of it, and then we have an image. Okay, we can also edit it if we want to, and we can also delete it. All right. Um, now, if we go to add a listing, you have a form, and then you have an uh, an image upload here. So let's go ahead and just add a listing. I'll just say test listing, and let's say city. Um, we'll just say uh, Santa Monica, and owner. We'll say Will Smith. Bedrooms, thirteen bedrooms. I don't know why, but I've been just adding mansions here with celebrities. So for the image, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a file I have, which is in my downloads, and I want this mansion five. Okay, and then price will say, I don't know, 14 million. And submit, and now you can see test listing. If we click on that, we get our listing here. Okay, so the application, as far as functionality, is pretty simple. Just like we did with the mean stack, the, the, the actual function is pretty simple, but when you look into the code, uh, it really teaches you a lot, and it's very, very um, scalable. Okay, uh, so let's take a look at Firebase now. This is the, the console, and this is the database that I've been using, or the application I've been using. It's actually a lot more than just a database. But if we click on database, you'll see that we have a collection here called listings and let's see where's the one we just uploaded so they have these keys or these um, IDs and this is the one we just added you'll see Will Smith and for the image it, we have it so path is one of the fields here so we have path as well as the image name and if we look at storage we should have the actual file going into this listings image folder Okay, so there's Mansion 5 JPEG right there. And we can manage these files from here as well. And then as far as authentication, if we go there and let's see, if we go to sign in method, an unknown error, refresh your browser. Okay, let's refresh. So there's my, my account right here, my email, Media at Gmail. Uh, gives us the the signed in date, the created date, things like that. The provider, which we only have Google enabled. If I go to sign in method, you'll see that Google is enabled, and you can also do email and password, Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, and anonymous. Okay, and there's other options as well. So Firebase gives you kind of an all-in-one infrastructure for your application, which is really cool. All right, guys, so that's what we'll be building in this series. I have no clue how many videos it's going to be or how long it's going to take. Um, I, you know, I usually like to upload my videos on YouTube. If it's a series, I like to upload them after I've created all the videos. Uh, but I'm doing it different this time. I'm just taking it as it comes. Uh, the last one worked out really well, and you guys seem to really like it. So I'm going to try to make it you know, a, a, an occurring thing. All right, and as far as the next video, I'll try to get it out soon, within uh, a couple days or so. 
and I should be able to release at least one every couple days okay I'm not gonna wait you know a week or two between each video so that's it hopefully you guys enjoy it and if you're not subscribed please make sure you subscribe and that's it thanks